have fallen. Shit. You're right in the middle of the woods, it's dead quiet and you see. Something like that, it's just a tire on a rope, some kids built it, it just looks eerie. Okay guys, welcome to another video, gotta get through this forest. We'll get to the mirrors. Some flashing lights, I think there's somebody else here. Just using this Sionix, the IR on. Get up on these mirrors, very spooky when you're walking around on your own. It's a woodland, good path here. Yeah, hey guys, welcome to another video back over these Hasland and mirrors again. Very eerie when you're on your own. You can hear the noises over there, but plenty of animals about. Not the clues now, it's quite a bit of clouds. There's some breaks, see what we can film. Guys, if you're new to the channel, I'm Mick. What I do is spend the nights over the moors in Northern England, trying to get evidence of unknown objects. Well, there, a lot of them are satellites, planes, secret tech. Is there something off-world? That's what we're trying to get evidence of. So, please do subscribe, leave me a comment. I'll always reply. I like the videos, helps the algorithms. Okay, let's get filming. Sometimes I think, what if there wasn't anything way advanced out there compared to us? The universe of all very similar uh, beings and everyone's out there looking back at everybody else through these sort of cameras or whatever. Probably not, just my crazy thoughts, but I'm sure there will be something looking back and sure there will be something a lot more advanced that is travelling around to planets like ours A few meteors I've seen and filmed over the last few days. It's been the Percy's meteor shower. We're right at the end of the week now. <laughs> That's amazing. That's, did I just see one then? I don't know. I'll have to look back. I haven't seen one all night. And as I talk about it, one goes by. But I think we are past that now. That was a coincidence. Like I said, most scale watches you're not going to get anything too unusual on camera. You've got your satellites crossing, meteors, planes. Occasionally there are some very strange things turning up, so stick with it guys. You've got to be out there to film it. And I'm going to upload all my scale watches, whether there's anything unusual or not. I'm sure sooner or later we're going to get something. That's going to need some explaining. I'm sure of that.
big dipper, I don't know if that is local or not. <laughs> I'm not sure it's the plough, in case you're not sure about that. Skewed by this wisp of cloud. You know, we've never had any proper clear skies now for a couple of weeks. We've had these breaks, but this wispy, wispy cloud in the night sky is just blocking the deep view of the skies. But it is what it is. So as you can see it's very hazy, wispy cloud around again. Every night it's been like this but I'm not going to do about that, just get out filming because you never know, playing up there. But we're really looking forward to the winter skies, because winter time in the UK, if you get a northerly air for a crystal clear, jet black skies, bright constellations, this camera really is going to pick up everything up there, so I'm looking forward to that. But I do love summer, don't get me wrong, love summer, but for sky watching, winter, yeah it's colder, I get wrapped up, it's great. You know, limited tonight again for clear skies, little patches. This particular area right above my head is clear. I've been like that for a while, so just keeping my eye on this area. Well, I think we've got something moving over there. I think so, probably it's that. Probably a satellite. But who knows? I'm not checking the app forever like that crosses. It takes out the enjoyment, it's only something I find particularly interesting, I'll check it. screen of the camera. Notice when I watch the videos about the oil lights crossing up there and I've 
pan over to somewhere else or switch the camera off and film to somewhere else. Could be a bit annoying if they're watching the video, but I can't see them through this screen finder. It's only when you watch on the big screen. I see them, so sorry for that. I just can't see them. There's something across it, it's very faint. As an example of that, a few videos ago, there were four very faint lights crossing all the right close together. And I was panning around and they went off screen and, uh, and that was it. And I saw them on the uh, TV. If I've seen them, I keep filming. Sometimes you just don't see them through this screen finder. So clear gaps like this guys tonight again are very few and far between but they are on so it is worth coming out, always worth coming out if you can get a little bit of clear sky and see all the so I'm going to stay out to around 4 in the morning hopefully it'll clear up more the only way I'm going to go home early is if the clouds really do thicken up and then we can't see anything but if we've got these gaps like this we're filming one day we are going to get real evidence of something very unknown in them skies whatever shape or form it's going to be in we've already got some interesting things on video but you've got to be out to get it, you've got to be looking up you've got to be filming to show it and to prove it guys these days there's so much stuff up there, satellites you know you've got your SpaceX satellites, there's all sorts moving around but many people around in this area, especially farmers, like I said in other videos, I know some of them have been in touch, so they've seen lights changing directions, moving at incredible speeds. They tried to film them on the phones. We really do need some better equipment for that. So we're using Cyonics, see what we can get. One thing I love about scar watching, I mean usually I get up to these mirrors around. 9, 10 o'clock, sometimes stay till 3, 4, 5 in the morning, I mean how many times can you stay up for 5, 6, 7 hours and not see one person, it is really relaxing, it's, anybody, you know, I'm sure a lot of people can relate to that, you know with the hecticness of life, work, family, even if you've got walking in the daytime you see people, you pass them, but nobody, you're literally on your own with nature and the stars are brilliant. So I've got another channel you probably have been mentioning before, SW Outdoors. That's just all about the outdoors, getting out hiking and uh, wild camping, all that sort of thing, outdoor cooking. I did set the car up full of camping stuff, I'm going to do the Pembrokeshire coastal walk a month ago and film all that but a few personal problems I couldn't do it but I'm still going to do it in a few weeks time so SW Outdoors check out the link in the description and we'll walk that Pembrokeshire coastal path that'll be awesome I'll be sky watching as well I'll definitely be doing some sky watching so I've noticed quite a few subscribers coming in I'd like to thank you and you're more than welcome please do Leave me a comment and thumbs up the videos, let me know what you think in the videos, let me know if there's anything else you want me to do with these videos, any ideas because like I've said in other videos, the channel, it's not about numbers, it's about the comments, the community that's what I call it, the community so have a chat in the comments, I always read them, many people tell the stories not everybody films things, they can't explain this guy, they just see them, they happen that quick they tell the stories, check out the comments and uh, reply to what you think it will be and good conversations get going there while I'm waiting for these guys to clear so I'll look in these spooky old woods but I'm not going right into them so. got woods here, here on the there we really are Oh, nearly fell then. Shh. 
shit. <laughs> but it's like hanging from a rover. That was here in the middle of the woods. That stoop down is hard to see, even with this on a moment to look through the camera. Oh shit, it's all stoop down here, I'm sliding down, I'm not going right down. Can I focus? I remember seeing one of these tight swings in the middle of the pendle woods. You're right in the middle of the woods, it's dead quiet, and you see. Something like that, it's just a tire on a rope, some kids built it, it just looks eerie. Alright, let's get back up, you can see how steep it is, I nearly fell down there. And there's got a leaf at the top there with the eye all right, wonder what that was. Right, let's get back up. I'll tell you what guys, this keeps you fit, this walking on these mirrors. It's a bit clearer now. Definitely a bit clearer. Interesting then four little the stories, I don't know the stories in a line but I wouldn't say it is interesting how far away are them. How far out in the galaxy are them. It's amazing. They reckon now every single star you see in the night sky will have a system of planets. And uh, it's just amazing what could be out there. Not too much moon around, but because of this haziness, you can't really see the fainter things out there moving around. Wales was amazing, so dark and clear in the area when, as it can be up here on a clear night in winter, yeah, it's just the same. That's all to come. Okay, guys, what I'm going to do is head up this mirror a bit and uh, find a flat piece of ground and lie down. It's a lot comfier and a steadier picture. I didn't look flying this. Oh, I'm led down again. Now I've checked for any piles of sheep or a cow shark because I've lent in them quite a few times. So sometimes you know your neck aches looking up and your arms are aching your shoulders. And it is steadier when you're lying down when you're hand holding. So I'm moving across up there. It's a lot comfy as well. A lot comfier but sometimes it's just so wet through we've had so much rain. To get one of these fireballs going right across. Quite a few videos ago now. Big fireball went across the sky. So bright. And uh, I was just so excited I thought brilliant I've got that on camera. People are gonna love this. And I realised guys I realised I wasn't recording. Lesson learnt. Gotta keep it and record. I was so pissed off with that. But it is what it is. What you can do about it. Here's the end of the week of the. Well, it's been going on for two or three weeks. The Percy's meteor shower, but tonight I've been out. 
plenty of clear spells. I've seen one go across, just as I mentioned it, but that's it. So I think that is over. And when it peaked, it was cloudy. I did come out a few gaps, but unfortunately, nothing much on camera really. A lot steadier when you lie down. If you're going to come out scourish and lie down, guys, honestly. If you're hand holding, a lot steadier. Sometimes, like I say, you want to have a walk around and you're quicker if you're on your feet, if you see someone coming over you, you can get the camera on it quicker. So, there's always its advantages and disadvantages. It's a waiting game, I always say it's like fishing. Everybody's into their own thing, you can sit there fishing all night. Like a meteor all there just going across, the second one tonight. Sit there fishing all night and not get anything. Yeah, you could get loads, same with sky watching. Tonight, not too much, overnight, there's plenty. Things moving about. If you don't get out, you're not going to see anything. I think it's amazing filming these meteors because literally they've got seconds of life when they light up in the skies and that's it forever. And they've travelled forever, probably. And if you get them on camera, you've got them there forever as well. I'm going to get back up because it's comfier. It's colder as well on the back. Just this particular bit of sky bloom is clear, the clouds are around, that's why I'm keeping the camera on. This bit of sky. Like I said, I love coming out doing this, you never know what you're going to get on camera. And, uh, you know, a lot of you guys watch it, comments, it's great. Another one there, that's the third one. Maybe this particular bit of sky. I keep looking up, because sometimes you hear like, footsteps, not people, it's animals, there's sheep. I don't think they're going to come up to me, but there's cows further up. I think they're behind the wall. Yeah, it's great filming, like I said. I'll load it and show you guys, and plenty of you watch these videos, I love it. Right, I'm gonna get up. My next area in the position. I need to get up and change position.
So I'm just looking over the village of Rising Bridge now. You see a plane flashing very low on the horizon, but there's another bright light up there. Is that the same light I saw earlier? Is it a plane coming in? Sometime, like I said, with the landing lights, it appears like a stationary bright light and it can take quite a few minutes before it seems to move over, so I will check this again. Dimming out now, but there's some clouds over there. Here we go, just getting the Seven Sisters, the Pleiades showing they are winter constellations in the UK but just rising now, it's getting later Brilliant when it's a bit hazy like this you got your whisper cloud there but the sky in general over the last two or three weeks you see if you watch the videos these stars are nowhere near as constantly as they could be and no more nowhere near as many showing I had a couple of really clear nights down in Wales and you really could see deep into the sky you can see all sorts of little lights moving I think on nights like this it seems to block block them little lights out but it is what it is, it is what it is. Lying down again. Got my better half a guitar today. She wants to learn the guitar, so I bought her a guitar. So she's happy in the house, perhaps in the guitar. I got my old scar watching. Sometimes you do feel a bit guilty, you know. You can have time together and I'm dying to get out scar washing. But she's happy playing the guitar. Keep them happy, guys. Mind you, what time are we on now? Quarter past one. I don't think she'll be practicing now, she'll be in bed. You can see a lot clearer now, a lot of the tiny little stars showing. It has cleared up quite a bit. So looking forward to winter, like I say, it's so dark. Never truly gets dark in the UK in summertime. The darker it gets, the more these skies, these uh, stars pop out of that sky and show up on the camera. And anything else that is moving the bells over. So a few videos ago, people want to come out watching with me. Some local people have asked, they've been busy recently, they haven't got out. And uh, when I get over the Pendle Hills, I will put a post on anybody who wants to come up. More than welcome. So we'll be scout watching with other people. A lot of people I know really do want to come out, but it just hasn't been convenient so far. It has to be. With someone else and have a chat. Oh, I do like me peace and quiet. A bit of both, I think. A bit of both. Balancing life, that's the key. I just find it so relaxing lying down on the mirrors, looking up at the stars like this. Love it. Definitely a lot steadier when you're on your back if you're hand holding. So there's a tip. A bit colder as well. I 
it has cleared a lot, cleared up. So it again, it has cleared up a lot. No, definitely. It's just relaxing, there's no rush, is there, in life? No rush with anything, just chill out. Every one of them tiny little lights, it's almost like bits of sand. Everyone, the thing knows plans around it. There'll be plenty out there, they also be good. Making a noise over there. Some sort of bird pill. I've yet to film anything moving. We're on the, uh, the big deeper area, as they call it. They've got a bright light moving across the bright light. Could be sat, like I said, I've got the sat ups and the fly ups. I'm going to check them for every light while across this, because most of these things are satellites and planes. Only some seeing some unusual speed, etc. Or, uh, I'm particularly intrigued by it, I'll check. I'll check the outs, but I'm presuming that'll be a satellite. Steady course, steady speed, but you never know. So I've just reached the top now back to the familiar four miles of air lights that lies in the middle of this plane crossing there in the background. Looking forward to getting over the top of Pendle Hill. I could walk there, not far away at all. Half an hour's walk. But my car is in the garage having a bit of work done for the MLT, so I'll be ready on Monday so we get over there. So the bright light appear over the horizon over the, the far miles with the IO lights. Could be a plane. The thing is you just gotta watch them for a few minutes. If you think you've seen something there's a bright light then they change the direction and then you can see the aviation lights. Well, this is the sort of light people are reporting over here, the farmers, like these farmers over here, that one in the centre screen. I do know that guy but I'm not gonna go walking on his land, I haven't asked permission. To do so, there's no reason to. There's plenty of mirror land around here. And these sort of lights, you've been in touch with me. So, you've seen lights like this, so shooting off and moving in different directions is only used to fawn. And uh, I've looked at the footage, you can't see anything. You've got to take his word for it. But I'm thinking this one here is a plane, I think I can see blinking aviation lights. 
yet. I've definitely played though. I've been requested to put this camera on a tripod. I did do it in Wales a couple of times. I will do it again. Sometimes hand holding. If you see, these things happen quick, so if you see something, you can move around quick. But I will set this up on a tripod next week when I go over Pennell Hill. Very dark sky over there. I get on a tripod a few times. Just point it up and see what crosses these skies. I've made two, it's like three or four tonight. They move so quite long, how fast do they go? So when things are further away from you, they appear to move slower, but they yeah, must be moving. Well, I'll tell you what, night time now in the UK, there's called nip in the air. Uh, that's just like crossing up the maybe that's a local term as well I need to start thinking about what I'm saying what I mean is it's getting a bit colder at night time you can tell winters around the corner When I, uh, when I come out sometime, I'll do a bit of cooking in the videos, get some steaks cooked. I've done that for the last few weeks, but I'll start doing that again before I scar watch. Just set you up for the night. I said in a previous video, I didn't watch that, that blue light, centre screen, just the trees, it's on the mirror, it's a piece of modern art, shape of a flying disc, and they've got neon blue lights on it, that's for many people, but it's right on the mirror, just above the motorway, so many people have reported seeing this, thinking it's some sort of alien craft landed on the mirrors, but it's there because there's so many sightings in this area. That's what that is. I'm going to do a scout watch from that area in a future video. I'll give you a, a close look at it. We'll have a look right up at it, under it. It is pretty amazing, really. Well, interesting. Let's put it that way. Tonight, sometime you come out, there's all sorts up there. Some things you can't explain, some very odd things you can't explain. So far, I think it's planes and sats. Like I said a few videos ago, I'm gonna upload all my scar watches, but you're not gonna get something every time. But there's still a few hours to go yet. You never know. I'm gonna upload them all. 
document the journey and the scout watches until they find something we can't explode. I always think when I'm doing this about, like I said, uh, you know, this every single story out there now, I mean, you can't see as many stories as you can on clear night, a lot of a system of planets. I wonder how many, how many uh, life forms, or whatever you want to call them, are out there, similar to us. Uh, looking back at us with night vision equipment, it's not possible, I'm sure it is with the number of possibilities out there. Right lights up there, but I do know that one is a star or, or maybe a planet. I actually checked what is around recently, it has been there every night. So, guys, next week there'll be some videos coming from the Pendle Hill, Lancashire UK, well known. That area for UFO sightings, as is this, also well known for anything to do with uh, the witches, the Pendle witches, it is a very, very, it's a beautiful area, well at night time, very odd, very eerie, but I love it up there, so I'll we'll be back there next week, lots of videos coming from there, hopefully these skies are going to be clear, them dogs really are going for it. Maybe it is clearing up a little bit. Not quite as much cloud about. But there, that's a, another plane. I do like filming planes, so many reports. Like I say, in all the videos of things following these planes, lights, orbs, tic tacs, whatever you want to call them. Many videos of people are filming planes day and night, and there's something tagging on behind. Nothing on this occasion. A view of the plower. A lot of times I film that on this light crossing satellite. You know. Too much moon around, but 
Let's see if the fence wants to know with this guy. This wispy cloud up there doesn't seem to want to break. I'd love to get one of these fireballs in meteors which go right across the sky and take 10 seconds or so to cross. That'd be awesome. I have seen them before, I've seen two of them. But not on cameras with me at the time. If you've seen anything like that, let me know. And uh, that'd be great. I love anything like this. Yeah, so these silence cameras are. Very good for nighttime viewing of the stories or the woodland, the animals, wildlife, whatever you want to view. Do check out the description of all the videos because everything I use on this channel from night vision binoculars to the P1000, the Cyanix, the links are there. Press the links, check them out on Amazon. The affiliate links, so yes, I will get a small percentage. Come on guys, I'm out here all night long, winter time. Trust me on these mirrors in Northern absolutely freezing. Also, I don't mention often I've got a Patreon account, the link to that in the description to support the channel, support what I do. It does take time, but I don't go on about things like that really, it's not about it's not about money guys, it's not about numbers. It's about getting out of here, filming this guy, getting a community going. People, like-minded people, all interested in the same subject. Come watch these videos and maybe get their own cameras and get out there filming and tell the stories. It's great. Like I said, as you can tell, a few clouds around those gaps, so it is always worth coming out, you just never know what you're going to see. It's so interesting. Dogs are going crazy over there, but as you can see, there's a farmhouse. Maybe they spotted me, you probably smelt me. I'd love to live in one of these remote farmhouses on the top of the mirrors. That'd be great. Drying guys, we'll keep drying. There was so many sky witches coming up, all different places, but it don't really matter where you are as long as you're in a good dark area. But we're filming upwards. Plenty coming up, and like I said, I'm looking forward to winter for sky watching reasons. The really dark, clear skies we get.
So yeah, looking forward to walking up Pembrokeshire. Coastal path, I'll be doing some wild camping, some car camping, so SW Outdoors. Link in the description guys, please get yourself subscribed to that if you're interested in anything. Like that. I'll be doing a lot of sky washing as well, so there will be videos coming on this channel. So dark down there, them skies are so dark. Looking forward to that. Definitely a plane above that, but that light still looks in the same position. Two minutes on, and it's uh, definitely not a star. Another, another star. So I'll keep my eye on this, like I said. All right, guys, we're just nearly four minutes since I spotted. A particular light in the sky, it's not a star, isn't that? I've been out filming every night this week, there's been no bright light in that position at this time. No idea, I'll keep checking it. Guys, I've just come up the hill and that light I was looking at earlier is completely gone. And to be honest, I forgot about it for a few minutes while I was walking up, turn back, unless it's behind these clouds. Uh, maybe it was a plane that moved off. And, uh, maybe it was a plane that moved off. I'm sure it was no star up here near Living Night. There's no bright star in this direction. So unknown unless it was a plane coming in, but I would have thought I would have seen this going above my head. But I keep my eye out guys. So I've just walked down to this village called Rising Bridge. If you've heard of Holland's Pies, that's the factory there that makes all the Holland's Pies. Well known in the UK. But it was that last that I was interested in. I think it's it's not a star, but I think it's a planet. I'm gonna have to look at what planet that might be. I'm just trying to work out what direction. South, south east on the horizon at the time we're on half past 12 at night. What could that be? Anybody know? Interesting to find out that. Okay, guys, crazy. Just wish it was a bit clearer. Also, it's bit of a belt up there. Please do like, share, subscribe. Leave me a comment, and I'll always reply. I'll be back out soon. See you then.